In today's exhilarating adventure, we start out with a dark ride down a dark country road. Where will we end up? At this point, Morticia started to sputter out on us going uphill, so we decided we should stop and check it out. Alright, so we are in Crofton, Kentucky. So what do you think, baby? So that really could have happened. Antifreeze is good. Or coolant or whatever. That's good. That's awesome. Alright. Let's roll. Let's try it. If it keeps up, we're gonna have to find like a repair shop. We'll go somewhere if we need to. But for now, see you later, Crofton. So we are currently here because when we hit Tennessee, we sprung a coolant and an oil leak. 
I think it's from the plug and then the hose that was on there. From what I can tell, but this gentleman was very nice and said he could fit us in on Good Friday, no doubt. Yeah. A lot of places are closed and they happen to be open, so he's definitely busy. But told him our story and he was actually nice enough to uh, take us in. We fixed the corner leak, but the problem was this little guy. Six dollars, fifteen minutes. Everything runs smooth. This is where we're at now, which can't complain. It's pretty nice. But it was quite the journey to get here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ended up being a six dollar part that cost us like well, no, we I mean we had a coolant leak. So the, yeah. the clamp, one of the clamps because it was pulled, one of the nice hose like shrunk. And so we had that. Kind of embarrassed I didn't figure that one out, but mm. you know, it was a leak. I felt like figure it out the And the way that the fuel filter was acting at the time, I thought that might be like leading to that. So I thought maybe bigger problems than just the clamp. So yeah. took it into a place. They were super cool. So awesome. It was in uh Tennessee. Manchester, Manchester Tennessee. Manchester, Tennessee. Yeah. Uh, credit to the people from the South. Like, Love them. I've yeah, had super nice. Great experience I always hear so about far. them being nice, but like being there and like in trouble, we were basically at a travel center and trying to figure out somebody that'll help us. It was that night. So Couldn't I knew it wasn't going to happen until in the morning. Couldn't and, find anybody to work yeah. at our vehicle. And so the first number <laughs> I, I called was Richard's Automotive, and it was the wrong number. So it was this guy, Steve, and he's like, yeah, sorry, I get this call all the time, you know, but like, it's the wrong number, it's it's not here, you know, good luck. I was like, all right, thank you. So now what we call like five more places. Yeah. And everybody just worked on trucks. Nobody worked on uh Everybody RVs. only worked on diesel. You know, it was only diesel, no gas. So I get a call back <laughs> from the guy, Steve, and he's like, I think I can help you out, man. Like, I take all my stuff to Lewis Automotive. And you just call and ask for ask for him, and uh, he'll he'll help you out. Just tell him Steve Steve sent you over there, and uh, he'll help you out. Plus. So I call him, and he's like, "Yeah, I'll take you right now. Come on in. I'm kind of slow." <laughs> I was like, "Oh my god!" I, like, that, what? he didn't have okay. to do that at all. I called him back, and I'm like, "Dude, thank you so much." Just out of the blue, he was like, "I just want to help you out." And he's like, "Well, if I was stranded, you know, I want somebody to help me." And I'm just like, "I don't and, think that would have ever happened." Oh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> in the city we're from, uh, like that was so so. Was, just like kudos to the people from nice. the south. I like, think we should all take a page from their book. Yeah. You know, like that was pretty cool. And just the entire way we've been people have been nothing but help. A guy told me about the fuel filter even we were at the truck stop and it was the twenty four hour diesel repair and he's like, No man, I'll help you out and he's he's like, If you have trouble switching out the fuel filter, let me know, I'll come out there and help you. Like, just, just because. Yeah, just because he was just being cool. Like, like huh? so kind. We even got pulled over and yeah. Both of the police officers were so nice. My and license like, plate was behind the bag, but bag was blocking it. I didn't notice it. It <laughs> came up while we were driving. And he pulls us over and he's like, you know, and just ended up bullshitting with us at midnight at like, yeah. like what, 40 minutes talking about RVing. Yeah. And, you know, like it, he was impressed with the thing. He's like, oh, you got it decked out in there. And his partner came and they were talking about it. And he was saying how his wife wouldn't let him have just <laughs> super cool people down. Yeah. Like, it, was awesome. it was it was it was so a really cool. good experience yeah they and just gave me a warning and he was like you know just make sure and pat it down wherever you go yeah and, like, he was like sure at covered. first he was like you do have a license yeah. plate he's right? like you have a license plate <laughs> <laughs> i was like yeah it's right here i promise i was like oh but you know i was nervous too at midnight i'm like you know rving through a small town because of course the gps took us through like the total back rows of these and we had to get gas <laughs> and it was midnight at this time so it was it was an interesting yeah. thing. I wasn't about the video. I didn't want you know. Yes sir, no sir. How you doing? And we had a nice. And they were encounter. really cool. Super cool. Yeah. So they were really nice, really professional. Yeah, yeah. It was awesome. Uh, interesting, mm -hmm. to say the least. So you guys will enjoy the videos. But we're here now, and hopefully tonight, right out of this window, it's gonna be a nice starry sky. This is where we basically lay our heads, and we're able to just look out beautiful 75 degrees we made it still getting set up obviously you can see but we're here we made Marley's it, checking out the neighbors yeah Marley's <laughs> just you know scoping out making sure everybody's cool she's already barked at a few people yeah letting, them, letting know. them know let them know she's here don't be messing with us <laughs> <laughs>
Huh, baby? Right? You telling you're everybody? The, you're the good guard dog? You letting them know? Yeah. Yeah. You're the good baby. Well, we're here for, what, till two days. So, I don't know. You know, we'll film around and we gotta let you guys know what we do. We brought the bikes this time, so we're probably gonna go for a bike ride. But Super excited about that. Definitely. And, uh, you know, we'll be back. The real beauty. We end up at the truck stop because we're right of sputtering. We got the leaks fixed, but it's still sputtered. So, I had to get underneath there. Put in a new fuel filter. Now, we're gonna get ready, take a shower, eat some breakfast at that lovely little diner over there. Now we're gonna hit the road and see what happens. As you can tell by the earlier video, we made it. We made it to Florida. But there was a time we thought we wouldn't. But as you can see before, we were relaxing at our campground, having a grand old time, and everything worked out in the end. spot underneath this beautiful Spanish moss. How big this thing is. Thing's gigantic. We got backing up to all this. It's a nice spot. Nobody's checking in next to us or on the other side of us. At least, not yet. She said there wasn't anybody expected tonight, so and that's the view we have. Not too bad. I love this tree. The tree looks like it's out of a movie. And after all of the excitement, we still got to enjoy the Perry KOA. It was so beautiful and peaceful, and we even got to barbecue. Thanks for watching, everybody. Make sure you like this video, comment, and subscribe, and join us on our next adventure. We'll see you next time. Thanks for stopping by.